you know, I feel like if we're just talking about what skill you will um, obtain, and that is, I mean, at the core, right? What are you learning? To me, then, my experience at least, from, t- from now doing my master's degree, taking courses, do I feel that the courses that I'm taking are higher quality than what I was doing sort of last year, taking online courses? The answer is no. I've re-recorded this video so many times that I'm just gonna stick with it. However flawed this video might be, how bad it might be, I don't I don't care now. All I wanna do is start making videos again and let's just start with this one. And it's gonna be a no coding or anything sort of uh, co- complex or advanced. It's just gonna be a chill video, discussion, reflective video. Um, and yeah, so what I would like to start to discuss in this video is an idea that I've sort of had before and I would I'm sort of annoyed that I had this perspective and I know there are people out there that have this perspective as well and so I would like to address it and you know people can comment what they think so the question is basically are online courses inferior to sort of real university courses or um, you know basically are you know is it worth pursuing a degree at a university so this is obviously like there are many perspectives on this and you know it's a complex thing to talk about really because it's situational and depends on individual and so on but let's just stick to sort of online courses because a feeling I had when doing courses on Coursera and so on is that I don't know why I had this feeling but that you know they are somehow inferior to courses that you take at a, at a university sort of on campus and and that the, the skill that you're basically the knowledge is sort of that you, what you learn is sort of lower level than what you would uh, at a real university now fundamentally i mean there's nothing limiting that online courses are like could be exact just as good if not better than than uh courses at a university obviously i mean you have ratings which you don't have at a university you uh you have more people doing it there's high incentive to iterate and improve because you can you know you can they can continue making the course better uh Presumably, everything is high quality because if it's not, it's going to have low rating uh, and you can just re-record the video if it's not high quality, if the explanation is not good and so on. This is not the case on sort of on-campus lectures, right? So there's nothing fundamentally limiting. With that said, obviously, there are sort of dumb, uh, dumb, I mean, like just shitty courses online because you have high volume of courses and so not everything is good you obviously need to do your research and make sure that what you are you know what you're learning is actually from a good course right all right so to me there are pros and cons to to this um to online courses first you know i feel like if we're just talking about what skill you will um obtain and that is, I mean, at the core, right? What are you learning? To me, then, my experience at least, from, t- from now doing my master's degree, taking courses, do I feel that the courses that I'm taking are higher quality than what I was doing sort of last year, taking online courses? The answer is no. So I wish I could just sort of go back a little bit and then change the perspective that what I'm learning is not sort of inferior to anything else because it it wasn't it's just sort of a weird idea i had Uh, on the other hand let's say that you're not pursuing a degree and you're just doing online courses are you going to come to like a an employer and say like hey look i've done all these online courses hire me maybe you know maybe that works and there are people you know if you see my videos then you probably watch daniel bork videos and I was, you know, 
he's a really inspiring guy because what he did was essentially, you know, I want to learn machine learning. All right, what do I need to do to learn it? Uh, I can either go to university, pay all this money, or I can just do it, you know, I can Uber on the side and like take these online courses that doesn't cost anything basically and learn it on my own. So, you know, he did that and, you know, it seems to have worked out really well for him. But maybe he's also sort of an exception to the rule that, you know, I believe, I'm not an employer, but I would believe that most people would be like, okay, can you, what degree do you have? Or what, from what university? Um, but on the other, like, on the other hand, if you have the skill and you can demonstrate that you have the skill, then nobody cares, right? Because people just want knowledgeable and skilled uh, employees. And so if that's, if you can demonstrate that, but you know, that's where the challenge is, you need to be able to demonstrate that you have the skill uh, in some way. So it puts extra sort of responsibility and in, you need to have an extra level of initiative than if you were just taking your degree and then demonstrate like, hey, I have this degree. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be a shift at some point and it's already probably starting to happen where traditional education is going to be less and less valued and that we're going to put more emphasis on skill. But that's not what this video is about. The video is about our courses on Coursera, EDX and so on inferior. And I don't believe that's the case. Uh, it would be interesting to, to, to uh, understand what or sort of listen what you think and you can comment below. But I wish I could go back and change that perspective and because uh, it's just not it, it hasn't been my experience. And, you know, in some cases, it's kind of silly. Almost I've done sort of the, learned the fundamentals of machine learning from, you know, the deep learning specialization, which I think is a great specialization to learn fundamentals of, of, of deep learning. Uh, you know, university courses that I've taken have sort of in many cases referred to Andrew Ng because you know his explanations are so good they're so high quality that the question is like why should I repeat this material when it's already there and it's free or like there, it's on YouTube just link just refer to the Andrew Ng's explanations because they're so good so you know to me at least the university courses are sort of almost below the courses that I've done online uh, not to say that I haven't learned things from university courses. They're also, you know, interesting and, and really good. But yeah, to learn a skill, you can definitely do it through online. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have any. Maybe one thing to add is is that, you know, doing online courses and doing it on your own as well, it puts a lot of more emphasis on like your surrounding environment. Uh, if you do it at a university, you, you have sort of a, a context, so to speak. You have people doing the same thing, which is, well, yeah, you, it's, you know, it's, it's more challenging to go your own way than to follow a path where things are more aligned. Um, so though, you know, there are more sort of complex things around and that could, you know, depends on your situation, but yeah, this was me rambling for a little bit. Anyways, uh, my first video back um, and I'm excited to to get back to making more videos. I'm not exactly sure what type of videos I'm going to do. Um, one thing I would like to get back to is to read more papers. Uh, I've kind of been busy on courses right now, but I feel like I want to have a habit of reading papers weekly. And so I want to get back to that. Um, I would also like to to um, share projects that I've done either through courses that could be interesting or um, just just um, maybe maybe more Kaggle as well. I would like to have more practical experience working on real projects and Kaggle is like the best thing to do. Um, it's just time consuming, but I'm going to um, see if I can incorporate that as well, because that would be I feel like that would lift uh, that would be interesting for people to watch and also you know, interesting to, for me to do. Uh, and then, I don't know, if you have other videos that could be interesting to discuss and, you know, ideas, then let me know. 
but yeah all right that was it for this video thanks for watching and uh hope to see you in the next video